Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a nice shortcut you can use if you are editing audio in Audacity. To remove the dead space as you pause while you're recording or if you go on a short break. So you can see in this quick audio recording that there are definitely a bunch of times where I intentionally paused in order to demonstrate this point. So if you want to remove the dead space such as here, 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 and at the end over here, then what you can do is select your entire recorded track and go up to effect and then truncate silence is going to be the tool we're going to use. So the first option here is the threshold, which is so anything that is negative 20 decibels or lower on the volume is going to trigger the silence. And in order for it to be truncated, the duration of that silence has to by default be 0.5 seconds or greater. Uh, you can, of course, adjust these if you run into any issues. I think for this recording, though, it's pretty straightforward. So having these settings are going to work. So the default action is going to be to truncate the detected silence, which means that it's going to detect that period and cut away the in-between parts. So looking at this, it'll keep the silence periods to 0.5 seconds and cut everything else in between. Uh, you can also switch to compress excess silence, which is to take the total duration of that silence period and to basically condense it into half the size. So this would mean that basically you'll be having the silent areas play back at double the speed. So whereas truncate is going to remove the extra information. So if you're dealing with a little background noise during that silence, I think truncate is usually gonna give you a better result. It would be weird to hear that compressed part playing back at double speed. So we can just go ahead and do truncate detected silence and we'll leave all the settings to the default. So you can see here now that all of those silent periods that were longer than 0.5 seconds have now been reduced to half a second. So half a second here, half a second there, half a second there. And of course these are rough approximations. So you may need to hit control Z and redo it, but we can kind of play it back now and see if that sounds good. How to cut out dead space. And you might think that period of silence is still too long. So I'm gonna hit Control Z here and we'll go back to truncate silence. If you don't like doing the Control Z method, you can also hit preview to listen back to how it will sound. Though you won't see the audio graph, you'll only hear it. So let's hear back. In this video, I am going to show you how to cut out Right, and that gives you that five second preview of how it's gonna sound here. So let's go ahead and try reducing the duration to 0.3 and I'll also make the truncate to 0.3 seconds. And by doing this, it's gonna take those silence periods and make them much closer together. So let's play it back one more time. In this video, I am going to show you how to cut out dead space by using a simple tool in the effects menu. Okay, and that's a lot better. Now, obviously in a real recording, you would probably never go word by word like this, because that just sounds really unnatural. But this could be a really great tool if you're pausing at the end of the sentence, or you have a really long recording where there might just be like a one minute gap or several one minute gaps somewhere in the recording. And instead of having to manually go in there and select the part and control X to delete it, uh, you can just have the truncate silence do most of the work off the bat. You may even find that going a little bit further than 0 0.3 seconds works. So at 0 0.2 seconds, I think we can get even a pretty good result for this audio clip. In this video, I am going to show you how to cut out dead space by using a simple tool in the effects menu. So aside from the fact that there's this obvious unnatural pausing here for those words, it overall does a really good job of cutting away the dead space, compressing your audio into the format you would probably actually want to use for a video or a recorded script. And it only takes a couple seconds. So that's pretty much going to be it for using the truncate silence effect in order to remove dead space in your audio for Audacity. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.